Welcome to Persnickety Presets. My name is Shari, and if you are new to our company and our brand, we are a professional photographic photo lab in Utah. We are photographers, we are graphic designers, and we care about print. We don't outsource anything, we cut out the middlemen, and that's how we're able to keep our prices so low. These presets are for you, our customers. Now, a lot of people have these Lightroom presets or actions online for sale, 20, maybe to 50 to $100. We're giving these to you for free to say thank you. So if you're not our customer, sorry. Hopefully Costco and Walgreens has got you. I've spent years teaching mobile photography courses. We love to educate and help our customers, our friends, to always be evolving, taking better pictures, learning new tricks and tips, uh, because we want you to be satisfied with your final print as much as we are. These presets are available for those of you that are Creative Cloud members and subscribers, um, and for those who aren't. So I'm gonna show you today how to install the these presets um, for those of you that are not Creative Cloud subscribers and that are just using the free Lightroom mobile app. If you are a Creative Cloud subscriber, then go ahead and download, I'll put the link down here, down below, but download the PDF. Um, it's much easier, you just install the presets into your Lightroom and it syncs into your mobile app. Whether you're an Android user, iPad, iOS, you're gonna wanna install the Lightroom app. Then you're going to open up the link that we've given you for the five Persnickety Prints uh, files for mobile Lightroom. Now, every phone's different, and depending on your software and if you've updated, and that's another thing, please update your Lightroom software. Whichever, whatever you're using, just it needs to be updated in order to do this. These are now DNG files, so .dng files. What that kind of means is it's a raw file. It, you can't really view it as a JPEG, but that all that information in that file is gonna translate into your app. But once you install it into the Lightroom app, you'll be able to see it and it'll say DNG on top. Here's how we're gonna do it. So you're gonna open up the DNG files from Mobile Lightroom, and then you're going to select one. So we're just gonna get started here. We'll use the black and white film. We're going to create a preset group. We're going to, you don't have to, but this preset group is kind of like a folder inside of your Lightroom presets. So you're going to know, hey, this is the Persnickety Prints basic preset group. And then you're going to add each preset underneath that group. Because as we go on in the months to come, we're gonna offer you some more presets to use in certain situations. And it'll, this is where organizing those will come in handy. Now remember, with any preset or action when you're using these photo editing tools, it's a good place to just start. It's a good starting point. Every image is taken in different light and every image is going to look different with each preset. So just know this is kind of a good base or you can lighten your photo first and then you know throw a, throw a preset over the top. Um, once we've created the preset group, we are then going to um, install every preset, all five of those, and we're going to make sure we drop it into that preset group and name each preset. And then you're done. Then you can import all of your photos or even take photos inside of the Lightroom app and then um, with one click, do what you need to do with your preset and make it look better. Now this is a great way to aesthetically um, quickly edit all photos that are going to go into a photo book or maybe an Instagram photo collage at Persnickety Prints and you want everything to kind of look aesthetically the same. Um, this is a great way to do that. Same with those of you that um, like to have an aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed. Um, using these type of presets is a great way to keep everything really um, consistent as far as color and light. I'm gonna show you now how I edit once those presets are inside. So you may have noticed a few weeks ago that I posted on Instagram a photo of me in a tent. And of course the lighting was really low and somebody else took the photo. And um, all I did was pull it right into my Lightroom app and click on the creamy bright and I was done. And it's like night and day a difference. So um, different phone, like I was saying, the different lighting, this lighting was darker, um, but this creamy bright preset really helped this photo. 
And once you edit it, you can always tap on the photo um, once you're done and hold your finger on the picture and it's going to show you the before and the after. Now you don't have to just stop there. You can also edit your photo inside of Lightroom um, even more so by adding more contrast if you'd like, um, more light. Um, click around in there and you can see all the tools that you can um, add to the preset and make it your own. We hope you love these presets as much as we do. Thank you again for being a loyal Persnickety Prince fan. We can't wait to see what you shoot and what you print. Be sure if you share any of these presets online that you use our hashtag PPPresets. And we'll be sure to give you some shout outs. <laughs>